see how this goes on. I know, obviously, Myron's very vocal on Twitter about his frustrations with the character Omar, which I think they're um, reasonable, to say the least, because, yeah, he's like, you start doing well, and then, you know, they just kind of trash your character <laughs> all of a sudden, so it's just the way your playstyle works that's not working anymore. But, you know, I'll do a strong start. I always feel like the shorter characters do pretty decently well versus Joker, especially mm. if they're combo or, like, damage-heavy oriented. The question is going to be, can Myron get the kill before Arsene really starts to do any big damage, or can he time it out? Exactly. When you, and when you think about it, too, having one of those Pikmin latched on a Joker, he could just go into Rebels, Rebels Guard and then all, ultimately just build up meter. So it's up to Myron to understand, okay, if he does get Arsene, what is my game plan to make sure that I am perfectly with punishing him for coming in against my projectiles? Okay, purple Pikmin, keeps them away. Yeah, just trying to keep them away. Get some damage in. That's actually going to be really helpful because uh, every time uh, Joker gets damaged, uh, the Arsene meter he starts to go down. Ooh, the Ooh, heck out, close. almost taking out the stock off the top, actually. He's going to make it back to the stage, but not without a great cost. 100% already stacked onto his first stock here. MK Leo still looking a little healthy. Not going to die quite yet to anything. That was good, too, because usually any player like Myron would actually accept the fight. Okay, he's got me there. I, he actually didn't predict the jab at all. You would usually typically see forward throw coming out from Joker. He's got a great Pikmin lineup right now to be able to seal the stock. It's just a question if MK Leo's going to allow it. Of course, Joker's a very fast, nimble character, and just like that, went deep off the edge, was able to get that edge guard, seal out the stock. Yeah, if I were Leo, I would not allow this man to make sure that lineup even touches me, so he had to make sure he was going to go that low. He's doing a really good job of honestly avoiding getting hit by Pikmin. He's going for those, you know, the take aim downwards, right? He wants to make sure he's above Myron and avoiding the Pikmin as much as possible. At 139%, pretty much anything else from here is extra credit. Yep. Okay, minus on hit, so he's going to get a down smash out of that. Wall space back air, able to avoid getting hit by Myron out of that. Man, this is, I feel like a lot of characters, they struggle against Olimar because of the range that the Pikmin can control. Yeah. So it really controls the tempo in the match. But the way MKLeo plays, he uses his speed, agility, and just being able to use, you know, Yeha to be able to control the space at the same distance. So mm -hmm. it really changes the tempo of the match, and he's able to close in, open up, able to get a kill just like that. <laughs> Down throw up there, just seals out the stock. He's got another Arsene, half meter available, and he hasn't lost his first stock. He is on a roll right now. And the thing about Down throw up air for for Arsene to even activate it. It's active, like, even if he doesn't even have Arsene. So you have to account into the fact, like, okay, if he does get it even win without Arsene, it's still viable against me. So that's a combo you really have to worry about when getting hit by Joker. And taking him across the stage here, trying to mix him up right there at the end, but still going to get a juicy 80% off of that. The White Pikmin going to do a lot of damage. That of makes, of course, the Arsene meter almost full now. Yeah, and I did like the play that Martin made back there when he was at the platform. He went immediately for the back throw and knowing that, you know what, Joker's recovery is always going to be low. I can go down there with a down air and hopefully spike him. All right, here we go. Oh, watch yourself yeah. in there at the platform. He's either going to go for the back air or the forward air. That was a panic get up attack. Mm -hmm. That's just going to get blown up. Every time you're on a platform versus Joker, I feel like you're in just an a lose lose situation. Yeah. You just have to it wait for the feels. right reaction, and then something will happen. You're going to lose your stock, going to take a ton of damage. But great play for MK Leo all around. Controlling space, controlling the tempo of the match, everything that an Olimar should be able to do in the match, he was able to deny very, very nicely. Yeah. And I feel like he did the get up attack so we can actually clank with the back air or the forward air, but he didn't see the forward air. Of course, forward air is two hits. All right, let's see here. Going to the same stage. Yeah, see, it's like right outside the throw range, Vieja is able to reach uh, Olimar mm -hmm. too, so it's kind of a lose-lose. He's kind of forced to play out of the character's element. Mm -hmm. And let's think about Olimar too. He, it's a character that kind of was in the meta and then he fell out because of the nerves and saw a lot of not having a lot of representation, actually. So it's kind of really hard to see, you know, Olimar's out here putting out representation for the character of Amira is definitely one of them. Still fighting with a good fight for what's left of the Olimar mains. All right, edge guard. But, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, he's going to go back. <laughs> he, already, he already threw the Pikmin. They're gone. Can't protect them. So he's just kind of a sitting duck at that point. So that was a free edge guard. And for Leo, just a way for him. He's like, you know what, man? I'm going to get you. Mm -hmm. And then Leo is just so good at waiting for the right opportunity. He knows that if he tries to go in immediately, then he'll probably get hit off by something. But just being able to wait for the right option, either like an air dodge or just uh, wait for the recovery to come out. Oh, okay, the spike comes out, able to take out MKLeo's stock pretty early too. So Myron's not gonna have too big of a deficit dealing in this second game. Yeah. So far for Myron here, he's looking to make sure he continues control, but the down smash pretty much allowed Leo to have the time to carry this man all the way up to 86%. Yeah. 
tries to sneak in the last hit of the grappling hook just to get for that extra percent and wouldn't have dragged them down that far off. I and mean, sometimes what happens is that a lot of different characters, when they try to, when they finally get in on Olimar, they can't really get too much damage. Because somehow the Olimar escapes, either like with a fair or just a neutral or something to hit them off. But the way MKLeo plays, he's always so good at his punish game. He's always able to extend it into a 40%, 50% combo. And then by the time Arsene's out, then yeah, it's already a dangerous, uh, dangerous game for a very light Olimar. Yeah, it is a dangerous game right now for Myron. Right now, 101 here. He's still fighting further this stock against Leo, but he's got him off the stage. Pretty much being off, off the stage against MKLeo is not where you want to be ever, 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 yeah. ever, ever. I stalled out the Arsene. Well, is it too little too late? We'll have to see who's going to take out this next stock here. We got a Monique available, so we can see the Forks kill, but the, oh, the edge guard again, that back air is just going to be the bane of Olimar's existence in this matchup. Yeah, and the way, like you saw earlier in last game, last game Myron was forced to toss out the pigment for that extra recovery, but he is able to get the up throw here to take care of MKLeo's stock. That's one thing I like about MKLeo. He kind of waits for the Pikmin to see how they're going to play out and then immediately punish Myron for going them, especially when it comes to the edge guard. He knows Myron has to let go of the Pikmin. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, MKLeo is just so good at waiting, just knowing when he needs to shield, when they're going to retaliate back, when to wait on the platform. So that just extends his punish game even more. Already, and we just blink and then it's already 90%. Yeah, and I told you guys earlier how that down throw works, and even at the highest percents too as well. Even with Arsene activated, that's something Myron always has to remember. Oh, the Forty. conversion from the guns into a fair one all the way to the stock. Very nice stuff from MKLeo. You think you're in an advantage position because Joker's on top of you, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 you're dead. You get shot up, and then you just get killed. That's the level of death, <laughs> literally, from the, from the guns. So <laughs> nothing short of le nothing less than I would expect from MKLeo to pull off from that. But Myron, I mean, he's still got one more game. Yeah, I remember when Joker first came out. There was like half people saying like guns are so good, dude, and the other half saying, "Yo, guns are so bad, they're useless." No, so, they, they are. Yeah, they are. They are one of the strongest tools for jokers. I don't, I don't yeah. know. I don't know where those people are now, but uh, I hope you're watching. <laughs> Man, I mean, what's crazy too is the way that take aim works is that it doesn't amount for an actual an energy based projectile, so characters cannot really reflect them or absorb them. So they're really yeah. good against characters like Fox and Ness. Already smaller stage, so uh, that means a range is going to be a little bit more controlled and tight for both of these players. We'll have to see how this goes down. Yeah, they're just kind of trying to keep their space uh, between each other. We'll just have to see where the first really big move comes in. There we go. There one. Not able to follow up with anything. Myron actually doing a much better job on this stage so far. <laughs> he he kind of turned up the patient style even more so. I like it. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> what, a, what a play, too, because he knows that Myron's going to be that car close, touch a car, and actually get out the Pikmin. That's what yeah. I'm telling you. Being in Rebel's Guard, honestly, against Olimar, you can either, either get virtually free Arsene or you know, get the damage you would normally take from Pikmin and just bullet meter. Yeah. That was very nice coverage from MKLeo, actually. He went off stage and downward just in case Myron would beat him down there. But he left an, a, a Hegao on the ledge, too, so that if he tried to recover high, then he would still get damaged by something. Mm -hmm. Finally, Myron with the first, one of the first few leads he's gotten so far these past few games. Oh, Smash will take it. MKLeo with 0% on the freshest stock. Myron at 118. He's going to go for the neutral plane recovery there. Not going to waste his time going low. But unfortunately, from the drag down up air, the down smash will kill him at that far at the ledge. Myron doesn't get a lead for too long. Dude, fair one is just so good. It's yeah. pretty much it's, fixed knockback at it, that point, and then drag down, and it just leads to so many kill confirms. It's it, such a great tool. It's so good, but it's so hard to land. And Kaleo is precise with it, too. It's not the easiest combo to pull, pull out from Joker. Okay, here we go. Oh, Edge guard. Nice. I, I'm scared because there's no Pikmin available. Yep, and he's seen that Myron wants to go low and the ledge jump back air. He still forces up the back air every time off the stage. Dude, he, uh, at, at, at that point, Myron thought he had the lead and then all of a sudden just went away like that. Yeah, and he thought he was safe to recover, man. But Leo, make sure if he's going to recover, he has to face something, either take aim or a back air. I mean, this song is making it look MK Leo like a villain right now with the way it sounds in the riff. Get a four tilt, a single gun. I, I like when he does a single gun as well because mm -hmm. it's kind of like Fox Laser in Melee where like you use it to unstale. If only moves. Fox in this game had enough to, <laughs> <laughs> to actually do it in this game, man. That end lag is not great to him. Ooh, okay. Down smash still. Going to catch him hanging on the ledge a little bit too long. But here we go. Let's see what MK Leo does here. Good forward smash to any read on the get up option there. And Kaleo will take this in 3 0 fashion, fist bump. Yep. And like you said, right, take aim is one of those moves that Joker has in his tool, not only against 
not only to zone and projectile zone and also be able to come in there, but like you said, unstales his moves.